Good aim, mate. Watch out for those deadly snakes and those poisonous spiders and those vicious dingoes and don't forget about the drop bears. Welcome to Australia, you Hey guys, so it was Australia Day last week and although it is quite a controversial day, there is nothing controversial about the amazing authors that live in Australia. And so today I'm pretty much going to flaunt their work and how great they are and recommend some of the great young adult Australian authors to you guys. So firstly we have Zachamir by AJ Betts and this is a wonderful contemporary that really gets your feelings going. It is about a boy called Zach and a girl called Mia and they are both cancer patients. Uh, Kate McCaffrey, uh, she has four books that I own, so you have In Ecstasy, Destroying Avalon, and this is probably my favourite one of all of her books, I absolutely bawled my eyes out, Beautiful Monster, and Crashing Down, and all of Kate McCaffrey's books pretty much deal with teenage problems from depression, anorexia, bullying, drugs, everything like that, and it pretty much just opens your mind up to see a lot inside of all of that. One of the more well-known authors from Australia is Melissa Keel with Life in Outer Space and The Incredible Adventures of Cinnamon Girl. So these are both really fun contemporary reads that I totally recommend. So next up we have Lucy Christopher with The Killing Woods which is kind of like a mystery thriller and also Stolen and this one is quite controversial as well. I've heard good and bad things about this. I personally enjoyed the book but it is quite different to anything I've ever read. The Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix and these guys have like amazing covers. And while we're talking about amazing covers, Pieces of Sky by Trinity Doyle. This is a book that I read recently and I absolutely adored it and that is In Between Days by Vicki Wakefield and I can't wait to read more by this author. You guys need to read these next two books. It is a duology and it is simply amazing and that is Disruption and Corruption by Jessica Shervington and you guys will love it. I just did a mini marathon of this next author and I have to say that all of her books are absolutely amazing. I gave five stars for all of them and I can guarantee that you're going to love them all and that you should read them all. And that is Melina Marquetta with On the Jellico Road, The Piper's Son, Saving Francesca and Looking for Ella Brandy. I haven't read Melina Marquetta's fantasy series yet but I will and I'm sure that I'm going to love it. John Marsden's Tomorrow When the War Began. I've only read the first two in the series but it is wicked. The first third by Will Kostakis, and I need to read more of his books because this one was amazing. Over Newton by Isabel Carmody, and if you guys like really big fantasy series, pick this up. Like, right now. Leave. Buy the book. Go. Halo Heaven and Hades by Alexander Ardenetto, and this author has so much talent that I just wish I had one ounce of it. Masquerade by Carly Fornasia, and... I think she's got a second book coming out soon. I hope so anyway, because she is absolutely amazing. So this is the book that I am currently reading. It is Yellow by Megan Jacobson. It has a beautiful cover and I am about 100 pages in and already I am absolutely in love with it. And lastly, my all-time favourite author and favourite book um, is an Australian author and he is known as Marcus Zusak and he wrote these amazing books. So we have The Book Thief, I Am The Messenger and The Underdog series and basically he is amazing in every single way. All of his books are fantastic and if you guys haven't read any Marcus Zusak yet, I would recommend that you do that right now, otherwise we can't be friends. I'm just kidding, we can be friends. I'll just keep on throwing the books at you until you read them. Those are some of the great young adult Aussie authors and I recommend those books with all my heart because I love them all so much. And if you guys do read them, let me know what you thought about it and if you love the authors like I do. Please read more Oz young adult books because in my opinion, a lot of these authors and books are underrated and they're just too phenomenal not to have a big fandom like other books do. So if you see any of them in your bookstore, be sure to take a look at them, read the blurb, maybe read a couple of pages, and I'm sure you're going to fall down into the rabbit hole of loving those books. So thank you for watching, and I will be back with another video soon. Um, subscribe and follow on my other social media, which I will link below. So I wanted to introduce you guys to my new little pets here. We have Max and Liesl, who I named after the book thief. And they're my new little book bunnies. Bye.